Hey guys, I am really excited about today's video. I had so much fun writing it. So I learned when I was taking French in high school that one way to say that I was doing okay in French was comme ci, comme ça. And they liked you to really like do this hand motion when you said it. And I have never heard this expression outside of Springfield High School. So I thought this would be fun today to put together a list of 50 plus slang words that I hear and use every day in France, but I never actually learned in a classroom. So some of the slang is gonna be normal slang, which the word in French is argo. And some of it's gonna be a type of slang called verlan, where actually the word's kind of like done backwards. But in any case, it's all slang that I use all the time. Don't forget to like the video. Please leave in the comments below what you think about the words, if there's some slang that you think everybody's using that I should have added, any tips for anybody. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click the bell notification so you know when new videos are coming out. One more thing before we dive into the video. I know some of the viewers are on the very intense journey of learning another language. If you are one of those viewers, please pay extra attention for the next minute because I have some really cool news for you. The Lingoda Language School is starting another 100% cashback language sprint this summer. Woo! All you have to do is take one virtual class a day for three months and the entire sprint is free. Now, my American side is obviously very excited and tingling about the thought of anything free, but my French side is also really excited because this has proven to be so effective. Over 30,000 language lovers have taken the past sprints and honestly their feedback about how it's transformed their language learning journey is really inspiring. The virtual classes are great honestly for any level. What I find to be the best part of these classes are the fact that they're really intimate. So there's only on average like three people per class and I guess I think that the hardest part about learning a language is actually feeling confident to speak everything that you know up here. And when you have such a small environment, you're able to communicate with the other like students in the class and you're also able to easily communicate with your teacher who is a native speaker. You don't have to just take my word for it, even though I think you should. Don't hesitate to check out their Instagram account because there's a lot of alumni sprinters that leave their feedback and so you can check out a bit about what they're saying. The sprint is three months long and it starts on July 1st, which means that you'll be speaking confidently by fall, which is pretty cool. But you've got to sign up by June 15th with the deposit before it closes because spots are limited. Now what's great is I've got a coupon code that you can find in the video description so you can get 10 euros off of the deposit. So it'll be 49 euros to sign up. And then of course, if you decide to do the super sprint and you sign up for one class a day for three months, you get 100% cash back including your deposit, or you can sign up for the normal sprint, which is 15 days a month for three months, and then you get 50% back. All the information in the video description below, so honestly, go and check it out, and please let me know in the comments when you sign up, because it would be really fun to stay in touch so I can get some feedback as well from you guys about how it's going. All right, let's jump into the 50 slang words that you absolutely should know and you will use in France. Starting off with some pretty general ones that you hear a lot. Un truc, a thing. I use this a lot when I don't actually have the vocabulary word. So the truc that dries your hair. Un mec, a guy. Une meuf, a chica. Simer, merci. So thank you, backwards. That's a Verlon example. Belle, it's like euro, like 20 belle, 20 belle, 20 euros. You can also say, c'est le bel, which means like, super, it's great. Fair gaffe, pay attention. Like, fais gaffe, you just had three glasses of wine in an hour. Ça roule, literally meaning that rolls, but it's the perfect English expression for, sounds good. Baraque, a house. Bagnole, a car. Moving on to a couple about food because who doesn't love to eat? Bouffer, to eat. I really wanna bouffer a pizza right now. Del, j'ai le del. This means uh, like j'ai faim, like I'm really hungry. But you can also use it in a phrase like on a que del, which means like we have nothing. 
When you're hitting the town, some words to remember. Tuff, violon for fête, a party. What, a nightclub. Picolé, to drink. Gerbe, to vomit. Gueule de bois, to be hungover. Literally, a face of wood. So Robin went to a boite last night. He started to picolé with his friends. Then he came home to gerbe. And then the next day he had a gueule de bois. See? Une clope, séguise, cigarette. Maté, so maté une film, to watch a film. A la cinoche, cinoche for ciné, for the cinema. And while this may or may not be slang, I think it's a very important word to know. Cusec, which actually means like dry ass, but is the a perfect expression to say bottoms up or when you want to say to someone chug, just say dry ass, cusec. When you want to score French lover, here are the words to know. Draguer, to flirt. Bégé, beau gosse, for a dashing man. Or belle gosse, for a beautiful woman. Lâcher, sur quelqu'un, when you're really crushing on someone. Kiffé, like you're totally into someone. I kiff that person. Pécho, or chopé, is the verlon and the slang for, like, I finally got them. We totally hooked up. I don't know which one is verlon and which one is slang, but I hear both of them all the time. When you get a little pissy about something, you might use some of these words. Je suis vénère. I am angry. Ugh, sacrant. That sucks. Ça me saoule. It sounds kind of like ça roule. Like, sounds good, but it's the exact opposite. It's like, that's really annoying. C'est relou. It means heavy in French, but not in like the ugh, it's heavy way, but more in like, it's really annoying. It's like weighing down on me. Chelou. Bizarre, or kind of weird, like le mec, the guy, is a little chelou, it's a little weird. Or maybe you want to call le mec un taré, which is like a crazy. Or you could call him a mito, which is like a huge liar, like a mito man, just a liar. So afterwards, maybe you're super angry because somebody a piqué ton téléphone, stole your téléphone. You might be a little bit disappointed, so you could avoir le sum, which means to be disappointed. But at some point, you just have to laisser tomber, forget about it, and move on. Laisser tomber is my favorite expression in French for the English, like, never mind. There's not a really great translation, and I find that to be the best one of just like, never mind, moving on, let's just forget about it. Sometimes we're feeling really stellar, and we need some positive words to go with it. C'est top. I hear this all the time at work. As soon as you turn in like a great presentation, people are like, or you have a really creative idea. Ah ouais, c'est top. So say, c'est ouf. Like it's really great. Or say nickel. Nickel means nickel and it's like, it's perfect. Or you could say, c'est vachement ouf. And vachement is like, it's really ouf. That one. And to round it up with a couple of key phrases you should know. Inquiet. The short version of ne t'inquiète pas, which is don't worry. C'est n'importe, which is also the short version of c'est n'importe quoi. I use this all the time. So when my husband has to watch every single Olympic Marseille game or the amount of time he spends on his PlayStation with his friends, I'll say like c'est n'importe quoi. It's nonsense. To finish up with perdre le boule. I hear this a lot, for example, when you're talking about your mother-in-law and you could say, elle me fait vraiment perdre le boule. She really makes me lose my head, which just means she drives me crazy. I do love my mother-in-law, but I think this is a good example to use. All right, guys, that's already the 50 plus words. It goes by so fast. I stuck all of them below in the video description so that they're easy to copy and paste so that you can study them or check them out. Don't forget to like the video, comment. I would love to hear what you guys thought, any words you think that I left out, and please don't forget to subscribe. And finally, when you sign up for the Lingoda Language Sprint, please let me know that you did. I would love to stay in touch and hear how you're progressing thanks to the challenge. I'll see everybody next Wednesday. Bisous.